New Zealand's Damian McKenzie's going to get the ball right here, and his buddy Will Jordan says, hey, you got me on your wing. He kicks it forward. He's going to suck three blue shirts towards him, throws it to his friend Will Jordan for the try. Beautiful pass. They went on to beat Uruguay 73 to nothing, so this was a bit just them showing off and having fun. I'll kick it to myself. Everyone will chase me like five-year-olds playing basketball. I'll dish it out to you. You'll score. That's something you missed, and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It's brought to you by the Warehouse Games. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, 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 boom. Let's start with some overtime college football. Eastern Illinois versus UT Martin, and they dish it to number 87 there. He gets to the pylon. They score. They're up by six. Look at that. Reaches in beautifully. Set the tempo. They kick the extra point. UT Martin is up. Eastern Illinois. What are you going to do about it, huh? Are you going to match them? Well, Hand it off. No, that was a joke. Going deep. Touchdown. Dude catches it, and then he stands over. Says, uh, you want the ball? Take the ball. I don't need it. I already scored a touchdown with it. Instead of kicking the field goal to tie it, they say, we're going to go for two, and we're going to run our favorite trick play. Oh, fake, fake. Oh, I'm going to throw it. Oh, my goodness. Why would you do that? Seemed like a bad play to run at a bad time. You've now lost the game. And they're dancing. They're dancing all over. They're high-stepping. They're dan- They're just dancing everywhere. It's a party on your field. Speaking of parties, the Sumo World Championships took place. This is the women's division. You got Estonia on the left, Poland on the right. In the team round, each country sends up three opponents. Weight doesn't matter. Skill. There's no classes at all. It's just you send up your person, we'll send up our person. So it's almost like designed mismatches. You just let the bigger girl beat you. So uh, Poland took that one. And now Poland, you would guess, is going to take this one because this is the whole thing is about throwing your weight around, pushing people around in the in the ring. Okay, holding their own. They're battling a little a little like pelvic hump into you're out of the ring. You've lost. Poland's now taken two of the first two, which means they've won. They've taken two out of three. Still, though, I think you you played the last match, so now you get the mismatch the other way. Estonia sends their biggest up versus Poland, and this looks like, I don't know. This is like where you're watching, you're very curious. You're like, I'm kind of glued to this. How is this going to go down? I hope that the one on the left doesn't just, like, fall on top of her really hard because that feels like it would hurt. Here we go. How's it going to play out? Okay, she does a push up top. She's trying to get the belt. What's her strategy? Is she go? Oh, no. She just fell on top of her really hard. That couldn't have felt good. And she's down on the ground. And Poland already took two out of three. It feel like she didn't even need to go. And now she's a little like, oh, crushed. I got crushed. So that was Poland and Estonia in the 2023 uh, World Sumo Championship. She's okay. She got up. She's badass. She's a sumo wrestler. She's not going to get hurt. Speaking of getting hurt, this is uh, Pakistan. This is slap kabaddi, and really nobody knows the rules of this. If it's real or not real, it goes viral all the time, and the dude in the red and the black is the ultimate showman. He lets himself get pushed. Now, the goal is to slap your opponent until they quit or the crowd just deems you're a winner. What a move. What a move, because the back's the worst place to get slapped. That's incredible. Look at him. Come on. Oh, you're going to come at me? Run, run, run. And then just olays him like he's the towel. And then to the back. That stinks, man. I don't want to get slapped in the back like that. And the other guy's like that. I didn't know he was going to do that. I didn't know he was going to. There's an official. This, you research it, and they're like, no one knows the rules. Even the people playing don't really know the rules. You just slap each other until someone quits or the crowd deems someone the winner. That's all I can find on this. There's regular Kabaddi. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, where? why is that guy? I want to fight. Wait, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. Will you wait your turn? Okay. Bring them all. Bring them all. You got to watch this jump that he does right here because I don't understand. It's almost like there's a trampoline under that part of the ground. How did he get so high into that slap and he throws the dude? What is this? And then, and then at this point, you're like, oh, it's staged? Is the whole thing staged? Was the whole thing staged? His jumping ability is still impressive. 
And for staged entertainment, still entertaining. Oh, that's the dude who gets slapped in the back again. And then his little hip celebration's cool. Mm. Mm. And then they come out and they give him money. And then they throw money. And then the little kids grab the money. Slap Kabaddi. And now for everybody's favorite sports game. Is this a catch? What is a catch? What do horseshoes do? They rule that a catch. The, the batter's like, I don't think so. Bowler, it's really impressive, like, you know, athleticism, throws it mid-run, stumble, reaches down on the shoestrings and grabs it. Now they ruled it a catch. But if you look at the replay, it looks like it hits the ground and then into her hand. And cricket's got a big issue right now with uh, what's a catch, what's not a catch, as every sport does. But look, this surely looks like, right? There, the shadow and the ball come together, hit the ground, and skid into her hand. Now, in the ashes, this was ruled not a catch because he touched the ball to the ground while he was sliding and not in control. So everyone was expecting for them to say, never mind, this is not a catch. But the umpire on the microphone saw this frame and goes, I have uh, sufficient evidence that her fingers are under the ball. What are you talking about? Does she have the longest middle finger ever to be? I don't think so. But they ruled it out. They said, good catch. Bizarre. We started with New Zealand and we're going to end with New Zealand because there's two World Cups going on right now. The Rugby World Cup and the Cricket World Cup. And New Zealand is doing well in both of them. They just beat Ireland in the quarterfinals. They go to the semifinals now in the Rugby World Cup coming up. And they look good. They're having fun. This was a big win. Chippy game. Them and Ireland. A lot of shit talk. A lot of fun, a lot of respect as well, though. And then on the cricket ground, they were playing really well. They opened up and just dominated England. Then they beat the Netherlands, I believe, and Sri Lanka or Bangladesh. They beat Bangladesh. Maybe it was Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Look at that knuckleball from Bolt right there. Dude throws so fast, and then sometimes he's going to come at you with that knuckleball, which is nice and slow. Making plays in the field, scoring runs with the bat, They got nice bowling, even on the Indian grounds, which, you know, aren't for speed, and they're hitting big sixes. So New Zealand, little island nation, two World Cups, and they're kind of dominating. Good for them. That's awesome. And that was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It was brought to you by the Warehouse Games. Our floorball tournament is going on right now. So if you like these videos and you like sports that you never really heard of and you want to check it out, we play in them. It's very fun. It's very silly, but also very intense. It's this weird world we've built and and live in and uh, enjoy. So thank you very much for watching. Go check out the Warehouse Games. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. No fan of the week. This week, nobody earned it.